as I already mentioned in my last video, I'm going to do another video on creating partial bundles and tell you about some issues that come up. So I have four documents in this project and now I only want to give two or the I want to give this project to somebody but um, only containing two of the documents because the um, other person should only code two of the documents so I don't have to um, send all documents around and maybe the project is bigger and not containing just four documents. So there are two um, ways actually to do that. I can select the documents and go to data source management and say bundle selected documents, which is the preferred way of doing it if you have more than four documents and maybe you only want to choose um, some. The other way is to um, basically go and say save copy bundle and you deselect the documents that you don't want to have. So let's um, do it this way and data source management bundle selected document. So now it's only containing two documents here. I say create bundle and there's already one version of it and I just add um, a date to it, for example. So now we pretend that we are now on a different machine. This copy bundle file was sent to someone and this person now is unpacking the copy bundle file. So I'm pretending now I'm the other person and double clicking on the copy bundle file and then this window comes up. But the project has been set up using a project library and now this project library that was set up on the other computer of course doesn't exist on mine. So I have to now select a location where I want to have where I want this library to be. So I put it on my F drive and I actually um, create a folder for all my analysis for project X, whatever the name of the project is. So then I said, well, I want to store all information regarding the analysis in that folder. And in that folder, I then also put my project library for the Atlas project. So when I unbundle it, well, it will tell me that only these two documents will be unbundled. And I do want to have that um, project in my analysis folder I've just created. So it hasn't, it's not there. I mean, it was yellow before because I'm actually not on a different computer. So I have to kind of um, work my way around that. So now the project is unbundled. It opens the first or the fourth document. It's not opening that document. It's opening that document, but not that one. So this is where the confusion comes in that people say, well, I created a partial bundle, but this still contains four documents. Well, yes, it does, because the document name is in the HU file. The copy bundle file is, um, let me just move this over here and maybe change it to extra large. So this bundles the HU file plus 
the documents. So the edu file is in my box in any case, and the edu file stores the name of the PD. So I cannot exclude that unless I remove the document from the project. So what is not in the bundle is the data source. So that I haven't transferred. I've only um, transferred two documents. Um, and this is the reason why these the P3 and P1 cannot be accessed because I haven't been sending the data source. But the person can still see it and it's in grey now when it cannot be loaded. Yeah, so just keep that in mind. If you want to create really a, a project that only contains these two documents, well then you have to save it under a different name and remove the documents if the other person is not supposed to see it or doesn't need to bother. I mean, the other person doesn't need to really bother about it because um, the documents cannot be loaded um, in any case. Yeah, so that's what um, I want to say about creating partial bundles because this question comes very often. So I hope that shed some light on the issue.